for some hoops at Little Caesars Arena, home of the Pistons. And we're going to bring it to you live on 2K Sports. Buckle yourselves in, everybody. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldrin. You take a look at the visiting team. What a story right now for these guys. Win after win. It's been a phenomenal stretch. Yeah, well, you, you got to like what they've been showing here of late. Very solid basketball they're playing across the board. And you can point to a lot of different areas where they have been excellent. Now the starting group for the visitors. Now here's Clarkson. He's guarded by Diallo. Down low. Nine feet out. No good off the back of the rim. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons to the left side wing. Puts it up from 15. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Stolen by Grant. Now Detroit moving it up. Grant leading the charge. They no good. Four on three as they bring it up. And here at the midway point of the year, lots of guys banged up, Clark. Is it hard to decide when to play through and, and then maybe not to play? When, when to sit? Yeah, you know, that's a good question, Kevin. And a lot of times it's about pain tolerance, the severity of the injury. Is it something that you can play with that won't linger on and you don't have the possibility of further injury? Those are the factors that go into playing hurt or playing in pain. Last outing for the Pistons, it was a loss to Phoenix. Smith. It's deflected. And here's the fast break. Clarkson leading the way. Lopez with the ball. Now Smith defending. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. They get a hand on it. Bobbed up there for Lopez. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Guys, I tell you, there are assists, and then there are delicious dimes. This was the lap. Now, here is Smith. it alive he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points and not forget to box out okafor on the glass i mean he is relentless in his attack the pass to ramos clarkson looking for an opening off target from outside now detroit moving it up and here we go two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul and Grant is just really an aggressive player who welcomes contact on his shots. I mean, the defense has to be careful around him because he's looking to draw fouls. Detroit shooting their first free throws of this game. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor, something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. And, and guys, you know what? That's made things hard for them in a lot of their games. I mean, that inability to convert their chances at the free throw line. The first one falls. And, you know, Grant, a second-round pick, has worked hard for his minutes in the NBA. He's an exceptional athlete who plays with a real edge, a bit of a chip on his shoulder. And Grant drops them both. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free-throw line. To the middle. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here is Smith. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. And the dunk by Grant. Can't leave anybody open around Smith. I mean, he finds him quickly. Love his court awareness. a three drills it from outside 
and he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The Pistons trailing. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Bain. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Wayne Ellington's checked in for the Pistons. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And the timeout, Pistons timeout. decide to take their first timeout right here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. a chance to check out stats for him. Here's Smith. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Fires from the line. Five to shoot. Here's Ellington. Got a hand on it. And oh, here we go. Lopez has got it. The fast break chance. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there, just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Pistons trail by six. Will it go? Kept alive, Stewart. Target at the rim. And they're running. Boom! He jams it straight down. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Now here's Hayes. He's covered closely. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. Just five on the clock. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Each trip down becoming more important. And you need to string some successful offensive possessions together and play tough deep. Third time is not the jump. Over three from the floor so far. Oh, 
Lopez passes to Ramos. Taken away by Hayes. Last break, Detroit. Here's Stewart. That three off the mark. And already they take out a noticeable. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Excellent all around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Well, it seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA, and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John ja Moran, I think he's got a chance to be one of the greats. And any list about the future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A, a terrific, terrific player. Three terrific kids. You're right. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And, you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's Hayes. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Stewart. To end the cold streak. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. So it's the visitors now. Nine point game. Inside. Plumley with the rebound. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points. But the D is just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Pass to Perez. Four on the shot clock. To the left wing. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. Pistons trailed by seven. Hayes down low. They swipe it. To the inside. To the paint. Rebound by the Pistons. Last game matchup with the Suns. A, a tough loss there. Yeah, always disappointing when, when you allow a team to come back. But as we all know, no lead is safe in the NBA. And the Pistons making a change here. Diallo's checked in. Down low. Here's Plumley, and it's slammed in by Plumley. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Maybe that'll help them recapture their edge a little bit, guys. Well, they've weathered their turnovers so far. They've been lucky to this point. If they want to keep this lead, they need to take better care of the ball. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Stewart. He's looking for Diallo and finds him. It's good. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. So the wing on the left. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh man! He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. Here's Ellington. It's tipped. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. And stolen by Diallo. <laughs> We'll get right back to the action when we return.
and thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And Detroit looking at who they've got. The Owl out there with Hayes. Then there is Jaleel Okafor. And it's Bay in at the three slot. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Here's Bay. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The pass to Hayes. Here's Bay. Fires the three. But they get it back. Stewart misses. Stewart's gone two for five tonight. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Pistons trailed by seven. Now Detroit moving it up. Here's Bay. Here's Okafor. Passes it to Bay. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Take a look at the Pistons. They're way down there in the conference standings, looking for a lot of improvement during the second half of the season. And right now for the Pistons, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. Yeah, and it's too bad, really unfortunate, because I did think the potential was there. But at this stage, I think we've seen their best, and it's not going to be good enough this season. The Pistons on offense. They trail by nine points. And Jordan Clarkson is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. And already his third foul. It's got to be time to get him out of there probably until the third quarter. Smith checked in for Hayes. Now here's Okafor. Here's Bay. Oh, that's blocked. And with him missing literally everything he's put up today, you can see why the score is what it is. Pass to Perez. Clarkson on the wing. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Improving shot mechanics. Good height on that jumper. Nice arc. I like what I see there from Clarkson. Pass to Bay. to Smith. And the pass to Diallo. Five on the clock. Shoots over Clarkson. Diallo, no good. Diallo's gone. One of three shooting so far. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. They get it again. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It, it is, Kevin. And, and, yeah, some people like the physicality of the year I played in. But, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement. And I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling. And ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. And he makes the first. Both good from the line that time. 
Pistons trail by 14. About three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. And here's Dio. Passes it to Bay. Six to shoot. Traps in the tray. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Jaleel Okafor. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Shooting two. First one falls for. Him. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Grant, he's checked in for Detroit. Ramos the pass to Lopez. And out of bounds, the Pistons will take it. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for him. And his scoring numbers have been going in the right direction these past few years. He's gotten better and better at handling what those opposing defenses are throwing his way and, and finding ways to get his points all over the floor. Pass to Bay. And the three off target. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. And now Smith still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Grant gets a wide open look. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got his third assist on the night. To the inside. Here's Aguilar. Here's Ramos. The kick out to Lopez. And there's the pass to Ramos. Down to five on the shot clock. And Okafor with the block. And the reach of Okafor cannot be understated. I mean, when he's around, he's very good at getting those big balls up quickly and batting shots away. Mason Plumley's checked in for Detroit. Ellington comes in for Diallo. That bucket in in no time at all. He's got five. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Smith on the wing. Nice ball movement by Detroit. That shot wide open. Grant's got nine. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Oh, the power on that fruit Goodness. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Man, it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been at, been at the at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Number one. Pistons trailed by 14. So it's Detroit with the ball. The 
The Pistons have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. free throw missing boy the speed and shooting Smith possesses is dangerous I mean a speedy point guard who continues to get better and the Pistons making a change here Hayes is checked in that one misses and they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter guys and it hasn't been by accident yeah I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better so the aggressiveness is starting to pay off Pistons trail by 16. Hey, On the wing, Ellington. Detroit, no good that time either. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. That's good from Plumley. Plumley hits them both. Over to the left wing. He's guarded by Plumley. Shot clock at six. The second chance effort. The second effort. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. He's got nine. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And the three ball is good. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. Grant's gone 67% from the field, four of six. Here's the three. A three-pointer is right on target. His shooting has been Outstanding. You're definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. 112 left to play in the first half. Now here is Smith guarded closer. There's the lob to the hoop and the dunk by Smith. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Passes it to Ramos. To the middle. Ellington defending. That shot misses. And it's Detroit the other way. It's three on three on the fast break. Grant, that's good. Grant's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And Grant really embraces contact, relishes it, as a matter of fact. He has no fear going to the rim or going into a shot. He's covered by Grant, and he uses the glass on the layup. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's Smith. There's 18 seconds left in the second quarter. This is his second trip to the free throw line. That free throw, no good. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. to Clarkson. Inside. And so it's the visiting team. 
sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, how'd you see it? They looked like they were playing an easy game of pitch and catch out there. The playmakers and finishers were in sync on every level. The assist disparity, now that was big. Now that's the reason. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the... Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Jeremy Grant, what a contribution. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Ramos covered by Smith. The drive by Lopez. And Lopez throws it down. And, and when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, my man is going for the jugular. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle all day, all the time. Cold-blooded and lethal. Basket counts. Clarkson's got his second bucket tonight. Boy, nice anticipation by Clarkson, not just on the steal, but in the way he jump starts the fast break. Here's Diallo. There's the dish to Smith. That's tipped. Knocked away. It's two on one. On up the court. Solid vision by Clarkson. Got it to his teammate in a great spot. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And here's the fast break. Here's Lopez. The second effort. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. He's got 16. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Out left to the wing. Here's Grant. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Grant's got 16 points. I like the fact that Grant has steadily, throughout his career, worked on expanding his offensive game. It's really difficult for defenses to match up with his activity. Back to Lopez. Pass to Clarkson. To the paint. And the dunk by Lopez. An elite score. Demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. Got a piece of it. And they're able to recover. Here's Bay. No good on the three. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. And the dunk by Lopez. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Time call here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Stewart's checked in for Jeremy Grant. Now the pass to Bay. From outside, off the mark. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Hammers the alley-oop through. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Out to the wing. There's the triple. They get it back. Stewart misses the layup. 
Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Clarkson, and it's blocked, and it ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Hayes is checked in for Dennis Smith. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Offline with his three. Here's Hayes. Detroit, no good that time either. And oh, here we go. Lopez has got it. The fast break chance. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And now they're turning this game into a, a drag race. Sprinting out for easy fast break baskets. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Bay. Yep, that one goes in there. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Passes to Clarkson. It's deflected. And so out of bounds it goes. And they'll keep possession. And, and he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Plumley is checked in for Okafor, and Ellington is subbed in for Diallo. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. And so it's Detroit with the ball. It's blocked. And now Clarkson pushing it up. No one back to stop him. You have got to be kidding. Hey, talk about taking things into your own hands. Yeah, he won the credit for the basket and the assist on that one. And here are the Pistons. Hayes down low. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his sixth rebound on the night. And he has lost all confidence out there. Still not a single field goal made in the game. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Corners off the mark. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Count the basket. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. All alone. Oh, that was worth oh. the price of admission. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, Fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Tipped away. Here we go. One on one. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And he knocks down the first one. And so he makes both from the line. Detroit with the ball. He's with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Servetus. No good again that time. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. He gets that one. 
they should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now here's Hayes. Pass to Stewart. Back to Hayes. Launches it. And Ellington is good for three. Ellington's got himself on the board with three there. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. On Wednesday, they'll be facing Hassan Whiteside and the Sacramento Kings. And then on Friday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the San Antonio Spurs. And no secret that this team can be very tough in their own building. And that's good news as they are loaded up with home games over the next stretch. This is a chance to create some separation. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for the Pistons. He's perfect from the line this time. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. That's taking care of business, fellas. Here's Perez. Hammers it home to polish off the break. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. You know, they've been the more up-tempo team, clearly. It's helped them gain the advantage in this one. Now here's Hayes. Tight defense on him. Here's Plumley, and it's slammed in by Plumley. You know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. That's exactly why it's important to work hard on the offensive glass, fellas, for chances just like that. Detroit making a switch here. Joseph's checked in. Pass to Perez. He's covered by Grant. The pass to Perez. Shot clock at five. Here's Ramos. Hands it from downtown. He has seven. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. 59 seconds left to play in the third. Outside, Joseph. Pass to Ellington. Puts up a three. He doesn't hit that one. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Pass to Perez. Just five to shoot. To the middle. Fires for three. Rebounded by the Pistons. Plumley's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And it's Joseph with the ball. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Offensive rebound. Stewart. An easy two points on the layup. Stewart's got nine. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, you've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts of pursuing the ball. Perez, the pass to Ramos. With one on the clock, he lays it in. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Delivering the blowout. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Grant is out there with Jaleel Okafor. Then it's Corey Joseph. And there's Jackson. And it's Magruder in at the three. That's the group for Detroit right now.
Grant dishes to Joseph. Trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. It's blocked. One on one fast break. He's covered by Joseph. And they pick up two. Uh, defense for me just hasn't made the commitment to sprint back in transition. And that's why you see such a huge differential in fast break points. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. You want to be aggressive offensively, but at the same time, you need defensive balance so you can get back in transition. And the dunk by Grant. Well, I tell you, when Okafor sees a wide-open teammate, he really zips the ball over to set him up for a clean look at the bucket. There's the pass to Perez. To the inside. Lock at six. And the shot goes in. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Now here's Joseph. Defense is right there. Down low. Here's Okafor, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Boy, how can you not bite on the shot fake? I mean, Okafor is already a master at selling it to the defense. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. And Lopez throws it down. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. And Joseph kicks to Okafer. Salamat repo Mariana sa pag-like ng stream. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. to Jackson this one for three again the miss by the Pistons rare you'll see him miss such an open what a oh. are you kidding me no, let's go home that was just <laughs> ridiculous I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game and guys it's gonna be a long time before we see another one just like that back to Magruder kicked away and here's the fast break. Clarkson leading the way. That one good for two. On the fast break. Clarkson, like a gazelle. Nobody can stop him. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Bay. And the layup falls. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Here's Clarkson. And that one is hammered home. Elevating like a rocket booster. Clarkson likes to get into the paint and finish at the rim. Here's Bay. minute of action now gone here in the fourth left side Jackson six on the shot clock knocks down the three ball defensively there was a lack of aggressiveness and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down here's Lopez passes it to Perez Clarkson against Jackson Clarkson passes to Perez to the middle
And that one misses. Second free throw, no good. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Here's Jackson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, because you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Both free throws good from Jackson. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Pass to Perez. And Okafor with the block. Left side Jackson. And it's tonight. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Excellent, excellent transition passing there, guys. Straight to the hoop. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Pistons. The pass to Magruder. Servetus. Frames the three-pointer. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. Thank you, Lauren. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. And so it's Detroit with the ball. Jackson looking around. To the left side wing. To the paint. And Okafor slams it in. Boy, it's enjoyable watching Okafor use his size so well. I mean, he's just bludgeoning the rim whenever he gets it inside down low. To the wing right side. Here's Aguilar, and good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. Up and in on the layup. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way and here's Jackson walls knocked loose to the inside out of bounds Detroit takes possession that is just a careless turnover you've got to be smarter in those exchanges Plumley, he's checked in for the Pistons. Joseph comes in for Jackson. Now Joseph. Pass to Plumley.
back to Joseph. Fires the three. Buries the long-range jumper. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Ogrefer comes in with the double team. It's stolen. And here's the fast break. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And the Pistons with possession here. Passes it to Magruder. And Joseph kicks to Magruder. The first one falls. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Count it. 24 points for him. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. It was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often, that's, uh, that's not a pattern. That's uh, a characteristic. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Six to shoot. Pass to Okafor. Fades and shoots. Outside, Joseph. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Great positioning on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. And, and that was the last thing they needed. Now the clock is stopped and they put them on the line. Yeah, and I'm confident Coach was reminding everybody, don't foul at the start of that possession. Obviously, he didn't get the message. Shooting two. Free throw good, Joseph. Yeah, you can just see it in Corey Joseph. He loves to hoop. I mean, he's a talented offensive player who also gets after it on defense. And Joseph drops them both. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Here's Magruder. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Dishes it to Lopez. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll wrap it up, folks. 
for Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. So